Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today guys, I will be showing you how to link to a CMS page in your website in Webflow. So yeah guys, make sure to watch this quick and easy video to the very end and follow my steps correctly. So you can make sure this works the same for you and that you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do guys, go ahead and open up the official webflow.com website right here and log into your account. After logging into your account, guys, you'll be greeted by this main page right here where you can see all of the options that you can access in Webflow. As you can see right here, I can see all of the websites that I have made right here. And here I even have the button to go ahead and create a new website if I want. But for today's video, guys, I will be going ahead and using this website I already made called YouTube Tutorials. So let's go ahead and open up the website by clicking on right here and clicking on Open Designer. And now this will open up the website in the page and you will be able to go ahead and add the website. First, we have to open designer mode by clicking right here in the upper right corner and clicking on design design here. After that, guys, now we can go ahead and get started with editing. At the left side of the screen, you have the options to go ahead and add new elements to your site. You can see your components, your page, your site settings and so on. And the right side of the screen, you have the option to go ahead and edit and style those options and components that you add to your website, such as style and you have your element settings and so on. So guys, let's go ahead and see how to link your CMS page. Here at the left side screen, we can see our CMS pages. So go ahead and click on CMS. You can see we have our blog posts and these are our CMS pages. So now what we want to do to be able to link to them is exit out of this. We want to go ahead and edit a new link block. We can do that by clicking right here in the upper left corner in the plus button that says add elements and click on that. And now we can either select to under basic. Go ahead and either select the link block or button. They work the same, just link block is invisible and a button is a button. So I'm going to be using a button. And let's go ahead and click on buttons. You can see now this will add a button to our website. Let's go ahead and give it a different name. Let's name it uh, link to CMS just to let me know what it does. After that, guys, go ahead and click on the button. And now at the right side of the screen, you can go ahead and edit the byte options, how it looks and what it does and so on. We want to go ahead and click these options right here on the uh, over the button. And this will now open up the link settings where we want it to link. We can either link it to a URL or a page. We can even link to page section and so on. What we want to do is go ahead and click on page. And here you can select what page you want to link to. So you can go ahead and select your blog, which is our uh, CMS pages. Then for that, guys, now we have successfully added the button. That whenever somebody clicks the button, it will go ahead to our CMS page, which is the blog posts. But yeah, guys, basically, that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So, guys, thanks for watching. Take care and bye.